It's post time for the first of five series finals this evening, the $87,000 Junior Trendsetter. They're all lined up in behind the gate, and here they come. And they're off, and there goes Primetime Hanover getting a bit rough, but Luke is firing him out toward the front from the inside. Super Natural Capital Power is up close early in third. I'm Priceless tucks in on the inside from fourth. Picnic in the Park tracks Capital Power. He gets a tap with the whip up into fourth position. Racing in sixth is Card Street Partners. Jates Thunder settles early from seventh. Racing in eighth is Presidential Pardon. A Hard Day's Life is ninth. And at the back of the pack is Paradise Loverboy who trails the field. And Capital Power paces right on to the point. The opening quarter in 27 and two. It's Miller and Capital Power now three lengths clear. Prime time Hanover is trying to close that gap from second. Super Natural following along riding the pylons from third. Racing in fourth is Picnic in the Park, and he's forced to pull to the outside. That gives I'm Priceless cover to follow second over. Card Street Partners tips into the outer flow. He's third over. Jade's Thunder joins the draft, fourth over on the outside from seventh, and rushing up now is Picnic in the Park to press capital power. Now Dubé wrestles him back, trying to get back into the two-hole. The half was in 57-4, and four, a 30-2 and two second quarter breather into the wind for capital power, and Picnic in the Park is now in behind him from second, so I'm Priceless has lost his cover. He's trying to make some progress. Still three and a half lengths from the front. Primetime Hanover trapped in on the inside fourth. Card Street Partners is second over, but he's six lengths from the lead. Supernatural is also trapped in sixth on the inside. The three quarters in 126 flat, and it's been all capital power so far. And they come to the top of the stretch, and capital power is two and a half lengths clear. Picnic in the park pops out of the pocket, trying to come to him. Card Street Partners off that second over trip is closing in, but Capital Power under a hand drive so far. Miller cracks the wheel disc. Card Street Partners up on the outside second, but it's Capital Power, and Capital Power goes coast to coast. Card Street Partners second, Picnic in the Park third in one fifty-three and 3 Well, The junior trendsetter final winner, it's number one, Capital Power. He's a three-year-old presidential ball colt out of Candy Apple Red by Jate Lobel, owned by Dina Frost in the Sampson Street Stables from Florida and Pennsylvania. Chris Ryder trains, and Dave Miller is in the sulky. Capital Power remains undefeated this year in series action. In fact, in his career, he's now three for three, winning the $87,000 Junior Trendsetter Final. Trackside to make the presentation standing by in the winner's circle, we have Suzanne Dudick, and Tricia McKenna presenting to the connections of Capital Power and winning driver Dave Miller. Three eighty, three even, two forty. Finishing second, the four Card Street Partners, five forty, three twenty, and third was number seven Picnic in the Park, five sixty. Exact to one and four, twenty three twenty. The trifecta one four seven pays $171 even. In the upcoming second race, there are no changes. Exacta trifecta pick three, races two, three, and four. There are no pick three changes. Post Favorite, Dave Miller, last night won the Super Bowl. He's back here in the Junior Trendsetter Final at Capital Power. Dave, were your instructions going into this race to essentially stay out of trouble? Yeah, that, that's basically what I want to do, is keep him in the clear and uh, give him a good shot, you know. Coming into this race, you know, he's two for two. Uh, describe the races he had coming into this one. Well, he's, he's just been awesome so far. Uh, he's been very handy and uh, very strong both trips. I, I was figuring if he didn't get roughed up too bad or something happened, you know, I figured he'd win. It's like a push-button horse from here. Yeah, he's real handy. He's a real nice horse to get along with. Can he go along with you think we're a little better than this? I, I think so, yeah. He's, uh, so he's been very strong every time he's raced, so I think he's capable of going a little better. Okay, Dave Miller, thanks. Chris Ryder trains Capital Power, who didn't race as a two-year-old. What happened there? He had OCDs taken out of a ankle, and uh, we could have raced him, but, you know, we, we liked him, and we just decided to give him the time. He was a little growthy, and we just decided to let him mature. Does not racing him at two sometimes with a horse help them and let them be themselves at three? And, you know, maybe the, sometimes you lose a little bit in the, in the translation as two racing a little bit too hard on occasion. Well, you, you lose a little bit as, um, like, when they come back to race, they haven't been there, they haven't done it before, so they're greener. But you, you gain a little bit soundness-wise, you know, because it's easier on their joints because they haven't done so much. Okay, what about the, the stake schedule for him? You've been in a, in a 
middle of his pace, Mr. Perez, sealed and delivered. Is this the kind of horse that might make it that far? Well, yeah, uh, we, um, you know, he's, look, he's looking good enough. We've got to start thinking about that now, and we've got state payments coming up next month, and um, that's definitely in our minds. And uh, as long as the horse stays well and healthy and, um, you know, on his toes and looking strong, that, uh, you know, we're going to start, you know, we're definitely looking at those races, yes. And his next series is which? The Matt Scooter. Okay, Matt, the Matt Scooter for the presidential ball called Capital Power, the winner here of the first of five finals tonight at the Junior Trend Center. Thanks, Holly.